In Matthew 14 and 15, there's a lot going on, but as a worship leader, I'm drawn to two particular kinds of worship that we see. In verse 13, we read the story of Jesus feeding the 5,000. That's a nice story, but the rest of it we find in John 6. See, the very next day, this same crowd found Jesus again. They asked him to perform more miracles for them, and he said no. So they asked him to teach them to do miracles. Again, he said no, that instead the only work they needed to do was believe in who he was. Disappointed, they quickly turned away from him. See, they didn't want him, they wanted his miracles. But in chapter 15, verse 21, we find a different worshiper, a true worshiper. She isn't even a Jew, she's from Canaan, and she's desperate for Jesus to heal her daughter. Jesus gives her every opportunity to turn away. He even seems dismissive and insulting, but with a purpose. In so doing, he reveals her humility and faith. Even when there's no indication that Jesus would listen to her, she continues to worship him as Lord anyway. That is worship. It's recognizing that we are whatever he says we are and that Jesus is the Son of God. He is our Savior from death and hell, and that's enough. If he never did anything else for us, he is enough. Listen to how Jesus responded to this kind of worship in Matthew 15, verse 28. Dear woman, Jesus said to her, your faith is great, your request is granted, and her daughter was instantly healed.